Hey guys, welcome back to Salvage Knits. Um, I'm Sam. Kat. And uh, we, it did not take us that long this time. It didn't. We nailed it. Yes. Um, I mean. We were also really excited because of the whole Maryland Sheep and Wool weekend. And you're probably excited too because yes. we have the Wish You Were Here giveaway. Yes, we do. We promised you guys that while we were out at all the cool events happening here in Maryland that we would be thinking of you the whole time. Yes. And we tried to and we picked up a pretty awesome bundle of stuff. Yep. Um, well, we that we are giving. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, everybody has an opinion, um, <laughs> but um, but we went to three different places, mm -hmm. and so we're gonna pick up and kind of show you guys the stuff that we got at each place and talk a little bit about it, um, keeping it short. Um, but we got from um, the Knot House has an indie pop up shop every year mm -hmm. during the Maryland Sheep and Wolf, and that's store. our local yarn store here. Yes, um, with Kathy and Heather, they're awesome. And so uh, we went there on Friday. The line was pretty long. It was pretty busy. Mm -hmm. um, really, really cool. They had a lot of really awesome indie um, dyers in the shop. And so um, first and foremost, Shelly Can was there. She's a genius. Has some of the coolest pins ever. Always putting out yeah. awesome new content. Yeah. And obviously for Maryland. We had to get that one for you guys. Yeah. So, um, so we have the Old Bay pin from Shelly Can. And then um, we went and saw Farmer's Daughter. And we guys got you guys the new base. Oh dang! And oh dang, it is really soft. It's so soft. And this is really a cheesy, it's an, it a Surrey. Yeah, it's a Surrey blend. It's what is it's it? It's Surrey alpaca, alpaca. Mm -hmm. and silk. Surrey and silk. Alpaca. It's so soft and so it's squishy. It's so soft. And to go with, I think I might have a new love. Bye, Mona. And this is not for you. I know. But I want Should I steal your pack? <laughs> package present. Your or yarns. Your package present. <laughs> um, and then we, uh, Dragon Horde yarn was there. And so we got one of her more popular bases, her fingering weight lore, and this is in the Highland colorway. And then of course, oh, then we also got um, Nice and Knit. We love the Nice and Knit ladies. They are so awesome. So we um, went and got one of their silky singles for you guys in a really cool, awesome, kind of like rusty colorway. That's it. really great. Yep. And then the Knot House's own yep. yarn. And this is the Fine China colorway. We thought that was really, really pretty and cool. And um, and it's local. on their mohair uh, merino blend. Yep. So, so that's really cool. So we got those. This is all the stuff that we got from the Knot House. And the pin. And the pin. So that's what we got from the Knot House. And oh, then oh, and we oh, also oh, got oh. a pin from Farmer's Daughter. Yes, Water. we did. Because I really love that pin. Because we're kind of obsessed with pins. Because the pins don't stop. The pi pins don't stop. Pins don't stop. Because then the next day, we went to Magpie Fibers. They had their open studio. Their open house, open studio, yet on Saturday. And Shelly Can made special pins because it was May the 4th. Mm -hmm. So may the 4th be with you. Um, some really cool Star Wars pins. You yep. got a Yarn Ball Millennium Falcon. And, and Swatch You Must. Yoda. Yoda. So that was really, really cool. Um, I love that Damie and her did that collaboration. That was really cool. And then we got, got the Magpie, her swanky sock in Masquerade. So pretty, so soft. And then, and last we but not last, trekked least. out to the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival on Sunday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Apparently, Saturday was the day to be at Maryland Sheep and Wool when it was beautiful, yeah. the weather was great, it hadn't yeah. rained yet. And then we went out on Sunday when it was pouring with a lot of children. With a lot of our children. Yeah, I was down one kid, but we did meet up with Kayla. Hey, Hi, Kayla. Kayla. And um, she brought some of her kids. We had like a total of like eight kids mm -hmm. trudging around through the mud. But they all did a really great job. They did. They, they did. Awesome. And they helped us pick out the last yep, yarn mm -hmm. that we added to the package. It's Neighborhood Fiber Company's um, yarn. And they're a local. This is their rustic fingering. They're local to Baltimore. Maryland. Yeah, they're in Baltimore. Yep. And they do all their colorways as like local um, names of different streets and areas in Baltimore and DC. I really love their yarn. We, I, know. I have a lot of stuff that I've made in their yarn. Yeah. And we're going to have to come back to the, one of these days we're going to have to do like a whole a thing. A whole on thing them. on that. Yeah. I think they're really cool. Stuff. Absolutely. Anyway, so all of this yarny goodness and penny goodness. Oh no, I dropped one. That's okay. There's another one. But it's all on of this for one lucky winner. Yes. Who liked and followed and subscribed and yes. reposted and did all that wonderfulness. And thank you to everybody who did. We will continue to have giveaways. So yes. if it is not you, we promise. Well, we don't promise you're going to win because that's there's a lot of you. But we <laughs> promise we'll keep trying. Yes, we will keep giving stuff away. But the lucky winner is um, Lauren. Knit. Yeah, Lauren. And her Instagram handle is Knitnapper. So, Yay. Lucky Lauren, um, we'll send you a message and um, get your address and send you all this awesome stuff. And again, thank you guys so much for um, sharing and liking and subscribing. We do really appreciate it and we will have more stuff for you. We, um, yeah, we're going to keep having more stuff. A lot of this stuff, the ladies from who donated to us. Yes, a lot I of know ladies Shelly, Nice and Knits, Magpie, they all actually gave us things to add to the yeah. basket to make it 
uh, a little bit more exciting for you. So thank yes. you to all of them as well. Absolutely, thank you guys. Um, so now we're ready to segue on to what's, what's on, our, on needles. our needles. Yep, um, I think you should start because yours is super cool. I'm very excited. I, uh, I posted on my Instagram about this. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a little personal challenge. Um, I've decided, and I don't know if you guys know, you should know. You should know. Um, Jessie made designs, um, and her hashtag is Jessie May. Um, she has some of the coolest sort of light, breezy summer knits. Absolutely. Um, it's really hot here in Maryland. Once summer hits, it hits with a vengeance. And, and it's, it's so humid and oh, sticky. Sticky. Yeah. So I was sitting there thinking, I really want to knit some things that I can wear to the shows in the summer and still be wearing knitting. Yeah. But also things that I can, like... I don't want to stop knitting just because it's hot. So yeah. her patterns really have intrigued me. Mm -hmm. And I decided I was going to set myself a goal of, you know, a summer of Jessie May. I actually, you know, hashtag summer yeah. of Jessie May. I want to try to get through. Here. And I'm going to post it up on Selvage too. Yeah, I want to try to get through all. She only has four patterns right now, but she has two more in the works right now. I want to make this one very bad. Yes. And they're all really exciting. And hopefully as I get through them, I can share them with you one by one because they are so cool, so lightweight, and so... Um, I don't know. They're really also sort of, they make me feel good about my body. Yes. She she's very much about feeling good in your own skin. And I love that. And, and her whole vibe on her Instagram page and her Ravelry page is just super inclusive of people of all sizes and shapes. Uh, and that was really inspiring to me. Uh, some of the, the, the tops are things that are a little crappy, a little, you know, the one of a bralette, mm -hmm. and they're all things that I was like, oh, can I wear that? And I'm like, yes, I can wear it. Yes, you absolutely can wear it. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Mm -hmm. I've started out with her Breeze Racerback top. And right now it's in that weird stage where I've got like four different parts of it on the needles, so it doesn't necessarily look like how it's going to look in the end. Yeah. I'll hold up this. So thing. like... This is, it's it's one half. Yeah, we're getting there. You're getting there. And it's really cool because it does have a racer back. You're doing it in the round up until you get to, you know, I've split, split the, the armpits arm. off mm -hmm. and I'm starting to do the top front. Yeah. But I'm really excited. You can see, you can see what's happening here. I'm using Magpie Fiber's Swanky Sock. Mm -hmm. um, and she has the three colorway fade right now. The Edinburgh Lane, mm -hmm. London Rain, and Paris Train. Yeah. And the three colors sort of fade into each other and I'm really excited about how that's going to look really out. really well. Look out. Look in. Look, nope. How it's going to turn, turn out. out. That's what I'm going for. Go. Turn out. <laughs> so, no, that's awesome. So that's what's on my needles right now and as we progress through the summer, I'm hoping to show you more of Jessie Mae's patterns. Absolutely. Because I'm kind of well, they're nice, And they're also like, you don't have to worry about getting stuck on Sleeve Island. No, there's no, no sleeves. sleeves on this one. Yeah. Um, I really this. And also a lot of her patterns are, again, they're summer style you know we've got t-shirts tank tops crop tops right exactly so we're not talking a lot of yarn i'm right. going stash diving for a lot of these to, to awesome. make them yeah and using what i have and and they're kind of quick and i love how she writes her patterns um i was looking at the because i've already cast on the bralette mm -hmm. and at one point she's like hey by the way when you're cast it binding off this is how you count it and i was like Yes, because that's something I have to look up every single time. Thank you so much for reassuring me. And, and I just, love a reassuring pattern. I do love a reassuring pattern, yeah. and they're really well written for beginners and for people who've been knitting for a while and just forgot how to do it. That's really cool. I love I like that. Love, love, love this, and I'm excited to show you how it goes. Sweet. No, I'm really excited. And we'll definitely um, share the hashtag and everything, and we'll share what's going on with you with that Summer of Jessie May on Selvage as well. Um, so for me, what I'm knitting... What is on your needles? I am a little late to the game here. Mine is something that was very popular last year. Who cares what's but popular? But I'm really excited about it because, again, it's hot, hot, hot in Maryland right now. So I wanted something that I can also wear in the... Um, in the summertime. So I am knitting the Tina by Caitlin Hunter. So this is where I'm at. I'm almost done all of the um, mm. the lace in it, but it's like really nice and really flowy. I think I have been looking all over for a nice like tank top um, style. I think I'm going to alter this into a tank top. And just take the sleeves and off? Take the sleeves off, but actually oh. do like, kind of like the, the Jessie May that the, the tank, I want it to be like a true tank, not just sleeveless. Oh. So I've been like looking up different patterns to see how they do it. And I'm going to try to alter it myself and make it into like a V-neck tank. Oh man. So I'm really excited about that, but That's I am so also cool. using, this is my absolute favorite colorway. It makes me so happy inside. It is um, Siren Song by Magpie Fibers. This is also in the swanky sock. 
Um, but this color just it brings me happy. The lace is so pretty too. The I'm lace sorry, I've never pretty. like really looked at this lace on the pat. Like yeah. you see it on people in pictures, yeah. but I've never looked at it. This I'm close, close up. to the end of it's the actual so lace. I only got a few more rows left, and um, then it'll just be knitting. And I'm hoping to do it as a tank, so it'll be done soon. Yeah. So I'm really really excited about it. Um, it's so pretty, and I love the color. So that's what's on my needles. I'm a little late to the game, but again, and I'm making a little alteration to it. So yeah. we'll see how it turns it's out. It's not a matter of being it late could, to the game. It could become a nits of shame, but we'll see. <laughs> so I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping it is a success. So um, so that is what is on my needles currently. And then now we're gonna move on to please take our money. Please take our money. Um, do you wanna go first? Sure. With your stuff? Yeah, yeah, do it. So, during the open house weekend, there was, um, well, I guess that's you, because these have been out for a while. Yeah, that's true. So, okay, so I'll go first. So, during the, the, open, um, the open house at Magpie, she released um, two bags that she, um, she's starting to release. She's been working with Maureen from Atomic uh, Freedom. Freedom, from Atomic Freedom, who's in Brooklyn, and she hand makes all these bags. Um, so, and it's a collaboration that um, Damie has done with her. So I was staring at the Grove bag, which is this guy and the handle. And I am so in love with it. Yes. So you got these two pockets in the front that are substantial. Like, that are substantial pockets. <clears throat> they are separated down the middle. Mm -hmm. Then you have one really large pocket in the back. And this is all canvas. This is waxed canvas on the front, the green as the um, color. But then, so it's lined in the inside with vinyl so that it doesn't snag your yarn. It's a very soft material. Not vinyl, nylon. Not, I'm sorry, yes, nylon. So it's, um, so it's really soft so it doesn't snag your yarn or anything. Again, you got two more pockets in here. And what I absolutely love about this bag, how and cute it is. It, well, first of all, it's allowed me to actually knit walking through the house. Because I do love like the fringe bags, you hold them on your wrist though. This has been really helpful because it is a cross body bag and it looks really wide, but when you stand up, it actually kind of conforms to the, to the shape of your body. So um, I've actually been just kind of like walking around the house knitting and then being able to kind of like throw this in nice. um, while still checking on my kids. I've actually gotten more knitting done. Because I know Reese is going through like a not, not. I need my mom face. Yeah. So um, it's actually been really helpful and it's why I've been able to get a lace pattern done. So I um, took the dive, got this bag. I absolutely adore it and it is very practical, very useful. I put my wallet in here, my phone in one of these pockets and it's become just basically a purse. That's awesome. And I love it. And this is the olive. Cause she's got a couple different colorways for yeah. all of her bags. Mm -hmm. And I guess that leads me into, cause she's doing this collaboration. She's slowly releasing lots of she's bags. She's got more stuff coming, we know, um, but this is the stuff that's out right now. And one of the things that she released earlier this year, I think she released them at Stitches West? Or was it Vogue? No, it was at Vogue. It was at Vogue. She released them at Vogue, the Maxwell, yeah. which is a needle case. I have been waiting to get this because, mm -hmm. you know, we have to like think on things for a little while. I wasn't sure which color I wanted, honestly. Because she has, this is the whiskey colorway. Mm -hmm. Sam has the olive. This also comes in the olive. Do you have yours? Yeah, I do. So you can also get it in the olive. So there is a Tabasco color, which is red. And then there is a gray colorway. There's a gray colorway as well. Mm -hmm. But this thing is just super, super, super awesome. It folds up and it holds two full sets of needles. I don't know if you can see. I've got my wood needles in here. Bush. He has a bug. Hey, can you take that outside, please? Thank you. Love you. <laughs> it's just a bug. It's no biggie. Um, so I have my wooden set of needles here as well as my chai goose. So I can carry both at the same time. Mm -hmm. It has four little pockets right here that you can put like circular needles in. Mm -hmm. Some people put circular needles in there. And then it's there. got two big places where I'm keeping right now all of my cords for the two different kinds. Nice. And then there's a zipper pouch here as well. Can you get that? Yep. There you go. Where, you know, you can keep your little knitting notions and whatnot. It's like a pretty decent size too. Like I've got my, I've got my needle gauge in there. Yeah, needle not, gauge. You know, needle yeah. gauge. It's your deceiving, scissors. But it's really big. And it folds up quite nicely. Yeah. And there's actually two different ways you can fold it. 
So you can tri-fold it, or if you have that thing stuffed to the max, it can bifold. So you can actually just, if the um, strap is long enough, that it'll allow you to just fold it in half, as Kat is demonstrating. Let's just give her a second. So you could so do, you can do that the as well. So if you have it like stuffed completely full, you can still do that. So that's why these are so cool. And you can hold two full sets, which is nuts. So um, especially when you're like traveling, and you, you have no idea, with or you. when you pack four times more yarn than you actually need for all the yep. projects you with may or may yarn. not get through, but then right. you have all your needles with you. Yep. So and they match the bags, so like you can get the grove in the whiskey colorway, so you can have everything match, or you can mix and match. Because why not? Why not? So so um, those are the cool things. Definitely keep your eye out for other cool stuff coming um, that she's doing with Atomic Freedom. Atomic Freedom is cool stuff. She's got some really cool stuff and it's so well made and I love that it's made right here in Brooklyn. Well not here, we're not in Brooklyn, but it's made locally in, in Brooklyn. Made in Brooklyn. Locally in Brooklyn. Yes. There's so, that's what we were trying to say. Words are working. I don't know what that was either. So I don't know. Woo! okay. And finally we have a style your knits this week to share with you. Yes. You first? Yeah sure. So um you, we were just talking about this. Speaking of mohair. Um, I actually finished knitting my Cumulus blouse. I absolutely love it. It's the Cumulus blouse by uh, Petite Knitter. And um, I made it in um, Ritual Dyes Fay in the iron colorway. I added just a little bit of length to the sleeves. I like a really long sleeve, so I just did one extra repeat uh, before I did the I-cord bind off. I absolutely love this. I love the V-neck. I think the v-neck is really really cool um, I love the I cord um, the added I cord edging on it it's really really neat and so I decided to because again it is pretty toasty here um, but on like cooler days this is nice with a pair of shorts so I did mine with a pair of shorts and I have uh, my Mia clogs as well and it's just nice and flowy and breezy and so as long as there is a nice breeze going um, the mohair actually was actually was actually pretty comfortable sorry and it looks adorable yeah it i love really how you style it and so that would be really neat on like a boardwalk or something like that if somebody went to the beach for a week at, at night. night yeah at night mm -hmm. um it was really really nice so um, i was really happy i I thought about pairing it with shorts and I was like, I don't know, it's like a whole sweater, but when I put it on, I felt really cute in it. And so that's what I chose to style mine with. Adorableness. Yeah. So so I went in the opposite direction for my style yes. this week. Mm -hmm. I decided I was going to style an outfit that I would wear maybe a month ago. <laughs> but I was so excited about it that I decided I want to show you anyway, even though it's really not climate appropriate for this time of year, at least not here. Right. But I know some of you guys, it's still snowing. I've seen I pictures know. of other people who are still getting snow this time of year. So now my parents are on a cruise in Alaska, so I mean, this would work for them. Exactly. <laughs> but I was really excited to pair these two things together. I finished my night shift and so I'm in love with this thing. I've been wearing it all over. I, I use the original colorways that uh, of um, Spin Cycle yarn. It's the Dream State yarn, and it's the colorways that Andrea Mowry designed the pattern with. With with. Mm -hmm. And I love it. And I want to actually show you a couple different ways. So this is the first way that I styled it, and maybe next week I'll show you some more because this is one of the most versatile shawls I've ever owned, and I've been wearing it so much. Yes. Um, but I styled it with another piece that I just finished making which is also Andrea Mowry. It is the daily sweater that she just came out with. Mm -hmm. And it's made out of the Luft yarn. I used colors number seven and number one. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about it. It is like wearing, this yarn is one I've wanted to knit with forever. It's really soft. It is. It's scooshy. Like wearing a marshmallow cloud. It's scooshy. So I really want to show it to you guys before it got too hot for me to even take a picture in it. Yeah. <laughs> so I paired the two together, the daily sweater plus my night shift. night shift. And I just threw it on with a pair of jeans and Doc Martens. And I really love the look. I really like the colored docks with the night shift. I, I think too. it brings out some really cool colors. I enjoy having mm -hmm. multiple pairs of docks with lots of colors so that yes. it can match all my shawls. Yep. But this shawl has been just so, so versatile and I'm it really so is. excited. I have a couple other ways to pair it. And I know we've been talking more and more in the knitting community about, you know, using your knits for more than one outfit. 
and yes. you know making sure that your knits mm-hmm. are you know not that they're, they're compatible and that they're part of something you'll actually wear yes and we've talked about it before like I do a lot of sample knitting so that I can knit things that I wouldn't actually wear right and then send them off into the world so it's not as hugely wasteful right as just having a bunch of knits that aren't necessarily my style right so especially with but this then sometimes you also find that it was your style yeah that's always, that that's always the hard part when I knit something that I want to keep yeah but um, that's sort of another thing with the, what's on my needles. I'm trying to think about things that I will wear yes. and when I'm going to wear them and how I can style them. And I kind of want to try yeah. to and style that, that's multiple thing. things. It's a good thing to think about when you find something you really like to think, okay, would I really wear this? You start knitting it. And then as you're knitting it, part of the enjoyable process is being like, Ooh, I can wear it with this. So I could wear it with this. Start thinking about all the different ways you can style it. All the different it. combos. So yeah. in the future, I'd like to try to show you more than one style you knit with the same piece. Yes, absolutely. I think that that's a really so, good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, we had a lot of stuff, I but I feel like we got through it. Maybe too quickly. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so again, congratulations to Knit Napper. We will send you a message. Thank you guys for following us and sharing mm-hmm. and subscribing. And we will put everything in the show notes, everything that was on our needles, the bags, the Maxwell, the style of your knits, the everything. hashtags, the all hashtags. the things, all the things will be up on the show notes. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. It's adorable. I need to stop spending money, so we should stop talking about things that I want. Okay. Okay. Us too. All right. Am I going or are you going? You're going. Okay. Scratch my back. No, like really scratch it. It just down lower. There, right there. Ah, thank you. So basically just scratch my bra was what I was asking. Okay. Got it. Okay. I told you that I went home and cried. I literally, <gasps> I literally walked in. All right. Hi guys. Hey. Nope. <laughs> so. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, okay. I'm good. I feel really good about myself. Does right looking now. at this make it worse? No. Are you sure? R- ripple crop top. Nope. God, I keep saying worse. You keep saying ripple crop top. You're very. Excited I'm excited about, about the ripple, ripple crop, crop top. top. This is because that's the thing with this weather right now. Yeah. I'm really uncomfortable with everything I've said this whole time. Oh, okay. Can we start again? Sure. On the ones on our needles? Sure. I feel like an idiot. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Did my baby just walk in? It, yeah. Do we need to... I don't know. Let's stop and look. I'm having a heart attack.